Hi, beautiful. Today we're gonna watch some people chop their hair off. I think that's the only way to describe this. These people apparently are about to completely cut all their hair off from really, really long to really, really short. A humongous, massive difference. And I'm so excited to see because if there's one thing that I love, it's a massive transformation. And just wanted to quickly thank Care Of for sponsoring today's Hairdresser Reacts. Now let's watch some videos. This is how long my hair is right now. It's pretty freaking long. It's like down to almost my butt. Oh. Oh my god! Hitting me with another majorly long, majorly crazy hair transformation. And I can't wait to see what happens. I'm planning on cutting my own hair. And if that's not scary enough, I'm doing it with those like squiggly craft scissors. What? What did you just say? You're cutting your hair with squiggly craft scissors? No, you are not. Why not just regular ones? Oh yeah, because it's YouTube and you only get views when you do crazy fucked up shit, huh? A nice Victorian cut, a loose beachy wave, a road that has too many potholes, alligator skin looking edge, some nice calm ocean waves, and then we have your classic bumpy road. We really shouldn't do any of these, but if I had to pick one, I don't know, I would say go, go crazy and do like the zigzag one. Like why not? It'd be kind of cool to have like zigzag Zag cut hair, right? Actually, probably not really. I probably shouldn't use that one. I probably shouldn't be using any of these. Those are not gonna cut your hair. I don't know what she's thinking, but like that's not gonna cut through some thick Asian hair. It's just not gonna happen. Like your hair is coarse and thick. You need sharp scissors to do that. I don't understand. I feel like this might be able to allow me to bypass that step of like making everything uneven. I feel like regular hair scissors are gonna give me like that blunt straight cut, which I don't want. I I don't want like some uneven bits. I love the theory, but that's just not how it works. You know, if that was how it worked, the professionals would also use zigzag sc squiggly scissors. Like it's just, you need to put the texture in manually. It's just not gonna work like that. The squiggles are just so small. They're not gonna be noticeable. Oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, you're cutting it short. Everybody today is just going crazy with the cuts. So I tie off the section that I definitely don't want to cut and then I'm gonna have to tie a second section. So if I tie it like back here, the front pieces are gonna be longer. If I tie it here, then the back pieces are gonna be longer. That's exactly true. Or we could put sections all around the head so that there are no pieces that are longer and it's just the same length all around. Why is nobody stopping me? Okay, no, that's too short. People love to put so many ponytails in their hair when they cut it. You only need one, and you just need to cut above the elastic. We don't need two. You can put two, just a little more work. Um, but if you just put one, and you cut above the elastic, the hair will all get caught in that elastic. Oh my god, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing, what am I doing? I just heard the scissors snap. They're just not gonna work, <laughs> what? She's actually going through. I thought she was gonna be like, psych, I'm actually using just regular scissors. No, she's fully cutting her hair with squiggle scissors. No. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't believe they're even cutting it off. Oh my God, I just gave myself like a hundred split ends. My split ends have split ends. Okay, I get why people don't use these scissors now. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, this was like a bad decision. <laughs> no sh**, no sh**. The jig is up. Just grab some regular scissors and cut the damn hair. Just cut it. I need to show you how bad my hair looks right now. Do you see these split ends right here? Oh, oh, your hair's wrecked. You just gave yourself more split ends. Change of plans. We're using actual just straight craft scissors. Yeah, this is a lot easier. <sighs> I'm straight up sweating right now. No. All right, we transitioned to just regular craft scissors and it's finally cutting through her hair. Thank God. No. What did I just do? Ah! Wait, it's so, ah! Wait, why am I scared of my own hair? Oh my God. Another really short cut. By the way, the, the haircut is gonna be jagged and all fucked up because of the way we're cutting it. Um, and especially because we're over directing forward. I don't know what she plans to do to fix that, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to use a different pair of scissors and I'm just gonna see if it works. It seems like we're cutting that one a lot longer than we cut the other one. This one's down here, this one's up here. What is going on, babe? I think this might actually be working. 
Wait, this actually looks better than the other one. Okay, queen. I probably shouldn't be calling myself queen when I'm doing something this dumb. We went back to the squiggly craft scissors. We didn't learn the first time. We'll see if we learn the second time. This one seems to be cutting better, but probably not gonna cut through the hair. <gasps> you can kind of see the wave. Okay, maybe not. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see if my quarter life crisis solution was successful. Here we go. Here's when we see all of the mistakes that just happened. Oh my. Wait. Not the worst. Not the worst. There's long pieces in the front. The back is longer than the front. Everything, there's no wiring. There's no texture. What? I do, however, like the shorter cut a lot. Oh. I'm really seeing it now. <laughs> look at the step. Oh, see that doesn't look right. You know, you see eye to eye on that? That does not look right at all. Wait, I kind of can't see it. Let me take a picture from the back. Oh no. Oh, the back is so <gasps> The back is so That's the worst we've seen all day. Oh my God. I think I'm definitely gonna need to go to a hair salon just because of this back of the hair situation. Um, yeah, you definitely need to go to a professional to fix that because you just hacked your hair. <laughs> like, f destroyed it. What? <laughs> oh my God. But the before and after was crazy. Like she really chopped it off and I love the shorter length on her. Looks really, really good. But never do that again, ever. Please somebody to go in and draw her house. One of your friends, please, if you're watching, mom, dad, anybody, somebody go take all the scissors out of her house. Cause it's just, it can't happen again. I can't wait any longer. This has to be done. Sorry, we're not even like a few seconds into the video and I am already shook the house down boots. Her hair is crazy and luscious and blonde and pretty and cute. Oh my God. I want hair like hers. That hair is long and luscious and so, so thick. You know what makes your hair thick? Living a healthy lifestyle. And you know what living a healthy lifestyle starts with? Taking some good ass vitamins that make your body feel good from the inside out, which then makes your hair grow longer than ever before. And that's why today's sponsor of Hair Just Reacts is Care Of. We've been partners for a while, and that's because I love it so much, and I take these every single day of my life. These are the vitamin packs. You just pop them in your hand every day, pop them in your mouth, they go down the throat, and you're all set. You can just bring these on the go, too, if you don't have time to pour a glass of water in the morning, you know? Sometimes I'd be waking up late as fuck, and I gotta run out of my house, I just grab my vitamin pack and I take them while I'm at work. It's just great, and it has my name on it. These little packs are actually made of plant-based compostable film. They limited the effect on the environment and you can feel good about taking your vitamins and not worrying so much about the planet and also ensuring that your vitamins are packed safely. You basically just take the quiz on the website and it matches you with the right vitamins for you and your lifestyle and your wants and your needs and your wishes. And it shows up right to your doorstep. It's like magic. My little vitamins in here and the ones you get at home are research backed and perfect dosage for you. So you don't have to do any thinking. Let me tell you what the yellow ones and black ones are because they look cool. One of them is for vitamin C, the yellow one. This is for immune health. And then the black one is for skin and eye health. <gasps> How fun. Honestly though, since taking the vitamins, I feel a lot healthier and I feel like I have a lot more energy. I don't always have time to get the right nutrients in my diet. So taking these pills really helps me get all the nutrients I really need to live a healthy lifestyle and feel good all the time. So if you want some good vitamins for yourself to make you feel good from the inside out, just click the link right down below and you can use the code BRABMONDO for 50% off subscription items in your first order. So get it now. And once again, thank you to Care Of for supporting Hair Just Reacts for so long. I appreciate you guys the most. And now back to seeing what this girl does to her hair. Hopefully it's good. Probably not though. But again, I'm so excited for the transformation. You know, sometimes it's like, it does feel a little bit like we can only go down from here though. I don't really usually see people do a good job at going from really long to really short. It's just a lot of hair to take care of. And it just ends up so thick and bulky. <laughs> We are enlisting another friend for help today. Well, let's see if this friend can do a little better than the last ones. On second thought, um, she really gotta cut that sh I'm sorry, babe, but holy sh it is a blanket. Sometimes when the hair turns into a blanket, it's like, you know it's time. It's like when you're hiding behind that hair, I wanna see your body, your face, your vibes. I don't want you to hide behind your hair anymore. 
Okay. I've been thinking about doing this. I spoke to Lucy about it for like a few months now. Today's the day that I'm gonna cut my hair, donate it. A lot no of people say thing. you are crazy to cut your hair because a lot of people say I look nice with long hair. From a personal point of view, I find that long hair is more feminine for me, but I think I need a change. She seems like she really does not want to do this at all. What's going on? Who's forcing you? Okay, interesting. So what we're doing here is over directing back. So she's gonna get longer hair in the front and shorter hair in the back. Back, which is a look it's like more or less like an a-line bob I prefer just a clean straight line going around the head but since the head has curves to it and it's rounded in 3d we can't just pull the hair in whatever direction we want and expect it to be a straight line we gotta cut it where it comes out of the head okay so if it's coming out this way gotta cut it right here coming out this way you gotta cut it right there this isn't gonna be good oh, hell no. oh, holy shit <laughs> she is going ham on this hair. Oh my god, it is so short. I don't know. It does, her hair needed to be cut though. You can see those dead ends. Oh baby, that shit needed to go. How did you cut that? <laughs> oh, it looks really fucked up. The good part is that her head was leaning forward when they cut it. So now when she puts her head back, it'll just look like a straight line, even if it's really not. The hair from the top is gonna overlay on top of the hair from the nape of the neck because you over directed the head forward. Okay, so that's kind of like a good thing. The good thing they messed that up. That's so short and me. what the f <laughs> <laughs> What did she think was gonna happen when she cut the hair to like right here? I mean, from going to here, to here, that's a huge, huge difference. I would be freaking out if I were her too. I don't blame her. I didn't want a bob, it looks so nice. It looks good, I really like it. You can like see her, the wheels turning in her head. She's like, man, you know what? Actually not bad. Wait, why are they doing this side now differently? We separated the two sections. Now the front is one thing and the back is another. Mm, let's cut it the exact same way we did the other side or else we're gonna have issues. Interesting. I don't know why we changed up the technique all of a sudden, but we did. You like it? I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> These people are the least attached to their hair I've ever seen a girl be. The last two people we just watched, they're just like, whatever. I just went from having hair literally down my waist to a bob in a matter of seconds, and I'm completely fine with it. I usually people like freak out. I can feel it behind my neck. Oh, that's weird. I used to feel it down my bum. Now I feel it behind my neck. Like. like <laughs> this reaction is priceless. She's like, what? what? That's quite nice. It actually goes into a shorter V, which is like quite nice. Yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh. That's why I told you to like cut it all behind like that and not in front. Oh, so she knew that if you over directed it behind your back, you would get more of that line going forward. Proud of you for knowing that. Oh. Oh my god. Look at all that hair. Oh my god. The two sides are definitely not even. I can tell they are definitely not. So we're gonna need a little bit of the trimming to make this haircut look better. Guys, forget the French. I mean, this is just pure talent for me. Give it a thumbs up if you like my short hair. And that's where they end it. No layers, no texturizing, per usual. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice, but it's heavy. We need some texturizing on shorter cuts or else it just all falls to the ends of the hair and it's just not quite right. And it's hard to style short hair when there's no texture involved. Everything just kind of like falls because the hair is so healthy and so thick. It's just a lot of weight. In order to have good styling abilities and be able to curl your hair and have it last, you need some texture in there and movement. But good job otherwise. I mean, I think it did look kind of even at the end and pretty good cutting skills, surprisingly enough. I'm gonna be chopping off my hair. There is a very special guest. She is one of my favorite people in the world cause she's just such a hoe and she makes me so happy. <laughs> You just say your favorite person is your favorite person because she's such a hoe. I get that. <laughs> As you can see, we both have really long hair. Holy sh! Your hair is so pretty, so long, so thick, and we are about to see it fall to the floor and get completely chopped off. I cannot wait to see this change happen. <gasps> you don't know how to cut hair. This yeah. is a first time thing. I'm gonna be cutting my own hair and then also Anna's. Oh, they're both doing their hair. I just wanna- Wait, what? The same everywhere. So it's like one big triangle. We are going from like all the way out here to all the way up here. Oh. 
Yes! This is what I need today, a transformation. Somebody who's not scared for a massive change. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're about to chop the hair off. Um, We are bringing all the hair forward into ponytails and that's not good because what you're gonna get is a massive V in the back of your hair. It's gonna be short and it's gonna go all the way down. It's gonna take a lot of time to fix that and it's just not gonna look right. So automatically I'm horrified and um, I wish you followed my tutorial on how to cut your hair at home if you're gonna do that at home. It'll come out a lot better than this. It'll not be a professional job, but it'll come out a lot better. So let's see what happens, guys. Oh my god, oh my god. You did it, you did it, you did it. Oh my god, oh my god. This is taking forever. Wow, you have thick hair. She did it. Oh, wow, she really just went for it and cut all that hair off to a bob. Her hair was so long, she wasn't even scared. Like, she must have grew her hair off for like eight years. That's insane. Why did I make my hand this awkwardly angry? <laughs> oh. She is cutting that hair just so incorrectly. I mean, cutting from behind and she's angling upwards. She's gonna get all kinds of angles that are pointing in different ways and the back's gonna be a V, the front's gonna go up. It's gonna be long right here on her ears. It's just gonna be an absolute tragic mess. This is not like a mental breakdown as I watch you do this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the angles. It's like this, this, and this. oh, it is even worse than I thought it was gonna be. It's so much worse. Oh my god, can like, you just turn around and like show Sia. people what is in the back over here? Yeah, that's Sia. How is she not freaking out? It looks like the worst outcome that could have possibly happened with an out of home haircut. Holy sh what a disaster. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna uh, cut your hair. I'm just gonna have to trust her. Don't trust her. Look what she did to her own hair. <laughs> the sound is torturing me. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm having Whoa, like a mental so breakdown. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You're gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Both of your hair went from so, so pretty to just absolutely ruined <laughs> what you do. Oh my god. Cuts off her own fingers. Oh my god. I probably will. Oh my god, when will it end? It's cute. Well, my Can hair you just fast, so. like let let it be? <laughs> no, seriously, listen to your friend and just let it be. Put the scissors down. Like you're cutting your hair and it's going so uneven. Oh my god, she's taking like random pieces and just cutting. And she keeps on doing it over and over and over again. Babe, you're doing it again. It's just getting higher and higher as you go back. You need to stop taking pieces from the back of your head, pulling them forward and cutting them. It's not gonna get any better. The moment you pull it forward is you're over directing the hair, okay? So it's gonna automatically be longer once it goes back to the back of your head. It's gonna be longer than when you cut in the front. You know what I mean? And it's gonna have like an angle down. Over direction is not what we want here. We want to direct that hair right from where it lives and cut it straight across. So um, this is just not going to get any better unless you have somebody in the back of your head cutting it for you because your hair is very short and it's going to take a professional to get this nice and straight. What's the back look like? Oh, it's actually oh, fine. Oh, there's like a little tail. Do you, Do you want, want me to cut it? it? Yeah. yeah. This doesn't feel real yet. I feel like I need to like fully commit and have it go backwards like that. All right, honestly, the cut's getting really cute all of a sudden. It looks so so much better all of a sudden. Wow, I just gave myself mini bangs. The curtain bangs are it. That's what changed it for her. Now she just needs a lot of layering, like longer layering, just so it takes out that bulk from the ends of her hair so her hair doesn't constantly flip out and always feel super thick at the ends. That technique, wow. Somebody remove those scissors from her hands now. Now she's trying to slide cut her bangs, but she's not quite using the inner part of the shear, the corner of them. You're gonna want to use that inner part. It's really sharp and it's gonna cut easier through the hair and really glide through um, instead of trying to like use the front of the scissors and just do little nips, little cuts. That'll make more like steps in your hair rather than like a nice Pull your hair up. <laughs> that was so easy. I don't know who I blame more, your friend or you. Your friend's letting you do this after she just saw what you did to your own head, but you also feel confident enough to do your friend's hair even after what you did to your own head. I don't know who's in the wrong here. She's just grabbing shit and cutting. Oh no. Oh my God, I actually hate myself for making these stupid bangs. I just looked in the mirror and I realized how stupid they look. Wait. I love the bangs. I think that's the best thing you did the whole day. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I f***ed up my hair and Leah did a great job. 
Okay, so that's where they left her hair. I mean, I love the cut. I love the transformations, but I would have loved to see a professional cut done because a good hair cutting professional can cut your hair so that when it air dries, it falls really nicely and perfectly and you don't even have to style it or do anything with your hair, especially when your hair is this nice. It is so smooth, so straight. Right now, it looks a little bit bulky. We could reduce the weight in the hair with some slide cutting techniques, with just a little bit of layering, just texturize those bangs a bit. It'll bring the whole haircut together and make it feel a lot better on your head and not make it so heavy looking. So I recommend for sure getting it um, kind of big, but you know, go off. <laughs> At least you're happy with it. I'm not mad, I'm just not thrilled. That might've been the most traumatized I've felt watching videos in a while. So I hope you enjoyed my pain. And of course, if you wanna check out X Mondo Hair, my hair care brand or my hair color brand, you can do so with the links right down below. We're also in Sally Beauty. We're on our website, we're on Amazon, and you can find us in all different kinds of places. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.